get the motor started. All right, let's pull up the anchor and get going. It's still a lot of fog. But we'll have to just go for it here. Shouldn't be a big problem. The water here is not as clear as I expected, not near as clear as Tomogamy or Superior, which I guess surprises me a little bit. One person uh, thought I should have a wind windlass on this boat, but the problem with a windlass is that it takes up a lot of space and a lot of power. I have neither one. Man, that's all buddy. We're secure. Hopefully there's not too much swell on the lake, so we don't have trouble out there. Okay, 10 o'clock, getting this going here. We won't run the cameras too long here because yeah, there's a lot of fog right now. Hopefully that'll lift. Pretty foggy. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put the autopilot on. And Foggy, foggy. Always makes it interesting. That's where navigation is very critical. But the fog also means stabilized air and normally, not always, but normally you don't have much wind. So. Yeah, let's step it up a little bit. Just kind of going up around the, I was anchored on the south end of this island off to port. We're just going up around the north end of it. And then we'll be taking a large leg across an open stretch to the next island, the next big island. Actually, it's not an island, it's a peninsula, to a place called Gross Cap, or Grand Cape. Yeah, there's another island, which we should see. Well, we'll soon find out if there's any left over sea. Actually, this is a pretty good heading that we're on. So far, it looks okay. About five miles across here. Not very far, but we'll stretch, we'll speed it up a little bit. Visibility, eighth of a mile, maybe a quarter, up to a quarter, closer to an eighth. I'm going about uh, 2,700 RPM, uh, 6.8, 6.9 miles per hour. So we'll make short, short time of it coming across here with that speed. Although I'm going to run out of gas, I think. I should run out of gas uh, just about the time I get there, actually. And then we'll shift over to tanks underneath here, my auxiliary tanks. All right, let's, we're over 258, 280 feet here. So it's deep. Let's see what we've got for reefs out on that end. Doesn't look like there's any reefs to be overly concerned with. Should be up there shortly. This weather holds, I'll we'll try to do a shower today, get cleaned up. I'm overdue. Oh, I didn't start the, there's always something you forget. Didn't start the tracking. All right, it seems to be recording. Autopilot's working great. I'm happy with it so far. I mean, I had some issues yesterday, but I made adjustments and hopefully it fixed them. We'll, we won't know until we try some different headings, but right now this one's working fine. All right, here's uh, how well the autopilot is holding my course. I'm heading towards Grand Cape. That red line is pretty much hitting the Cape. The autopilot is doing a really good job of holding course. It saves a lot of effort on my part. It allows me to be freed up to 
mess with the cameras and make adjustments to uh, things on board, get a cold drink or whatever. Some high terrain around here. It's kind of beautiful. Quite a contrast from where I was the last couple of days. Real flat islands. This is really nice. You can't see it on that camera, but uh, I finally just gave up on the pole. It wasn't connecting, so it should be close to the camp here. Looking for the campsite. I don't plan to use it, but I like to scope those things out when I go by. So. I think it's in this little cove back here. Go in just a little closer. Check it out. Beautiful terrain. Not seeing any campsite. It wouldn't be surprising. The uh, locations of these sites have not been very accurate. I see no place to pull up there. Should be in that area right there, but I have not seen. Breeze came up a little bit, blew the fog away make it a lot chillier with this water temperature 52 degrees not very cozy not seeing any campsite all just jumbles of rock looking for any kind of sign but i'm not seeing it said that it should be back there in that cove but it's not well i'm going to go in this anchorage and see what we've got here sun was i thought it was going to be sunny now it's clouded up again bottom here is even at about 47 feet, although it shows it more like 32. I don't understand the difference there, but. Well, I just don't see the campsite. You know, for me, I don't, wouldn't want to be on this open coast anyway. I would want to be on the inside of that bay. So maybe it's just poorly marked. I guess I better turn the autopilot off. Steer by hand when I get in close dramatic cliffs here okay it's getting shallower here so let's go over by that rock because that's we don't want to hit any peaks this sheer cliff is probably the safer place to be i think i'm getting low on fuel i hear the engine ticking a little bit which a lot of time indicates i'm close well i never saw anything that looked like a campsite it's shallower here than i expected it's only 15 20 feet question is where do I go in this uh, it's a pretty good sized pond here or bay question is where do I anchor to be out of the as protected as possible and there would be a spot I would pick is right there on that point place to pull up your canoes well we're heading down to the other end here I'm anticipating mostly southern components to the wind so but I better double check that it's just my memory. Yeah, there is a little bit of a northeast. Uh, it's all over the place, but very low velocities. East, northeast, west, northwest, west, northwest. It's all over the place. It's called Charlie's Harbor. Probably more buggy down here, but it just seemed like the best place to anchor. We'll poke around when we get down here and see what we can find. 31 feet. A kind of a regular bottom and temperature is even cooler in here less than 52 I don't know why it's so cold you'd think it would be a little warmer in here but I suppose in some respects well, I don't know if this is the best place to go or not let's look at that again it's shallow there I don't know maybe this is not the best place to stop it's kind of down in the if any northerly component comes up, I have the full length of that, of this lake. But at the same time, if it comes out of the south, it's the same boat if I'm up there. So, yeah, let's look. Pretty shallow in here. Or 5.9, 6 feet. I'm not sure I like that. You're kind of out in the middle of nowhere here. 6 feet. If I anchor down here, I'm going to be in the open. Well, I'm going back up here to the north end didn't really like down there on the south 
that's where they show the anchorage to be and of course there's good bottom there for it I'd like to be protected a little bit more from potential waves coming in that entrance so I'm going to tuck up underneath this little point and see if I can find a bottom that's suitable for anchoring clouded up again it was pretty nice uh, in the fog and then the fog blew away and became less favorable Well, not a very pretty shoreline, but I don't want to be up underneath those cliffs either on the other side because sometimes you get some gusty winds that come down over the top. Looks like the bottom's suitable for anchoring. 20 feet, comes up pretty steeply here, about seven, eight feet. Well, let's go ahead and get it planted. See what we got. Let it swing around here first. And I've got eight feet. Yeah, I'll better go up and double check. Well, I think that's it. Hello, folks. Setting here just on the aft deck, enjoying the setting. Not so beautiful behind me. Enjoying a glass of wine while I rest up after getting my chores done for the day. Not that it was overly uh, vigorous, but it's nice to just relax and enjoy the peace and quiet. Right now you're looking down over my shoulder that's kind of to the south of this little, uh, I think they call it Charlie's Harbor. And as soon as the boat swings around, I'll give you a view of the kind of the cliffs. There are some higher terrain around here, so it's a lot more uh, scenic than some of the other spots that I've been so far on this trip. Uh, definitely a lot higher terrain. I looked for a campsite as I came in, but uh, could not find one. We'll look again on our way out, and I'm a little closer to this northern shore here, so maybe it'll show up, and I just missed it uh, somehow. <clears throat> Yesterday, when I was in that anchorage, uh, I didn't see the campground right away either, so depending on your approach, they can be difficult to find. So, but I didn't see it uh, scanned with the field glasses and it was nowhere to be seen. The plan is to uh, just relax here again. It's another, uh, you know, even though it's a little cloudy, the solar is doing pretty well. I'm pleased with that. The autopilot worked well coming across today. So now that's a couple of days here with uh, most, the, uh, most of the time it's worked well. So I did tweak some things last night. So I'm hoping that that fixed some of the problems I had with the hunting yesterday, early. I tried fishing last night, didn't catch anything. I'll maybe throw a line in here again too, but uh, I don't know how much fish eating I'll do because I looked at my knives and I don't have anything that's decent for cleaning a fish. Put the camera around here so you can see the other, the backside, kind of the cliffs over on the west side of this harbor and um, much more dramatic than previous places that I've been. Uh, on this trip. Reminds me a little more of Tomogamy than uh, anything else. There you get a, a good view. It's swinging around there now. Very calm right now. So it's kind of fun. Very enjoyable. It's one of the reasons that I come to places like this. Didn't see any boats today. I thought I might have heard one, but I haven't seen any. And I didn't see anything. Saw that one fisherman early yesterday. Otherwise, I never saw anybody again the rest of the day. So on this trip, technically, I've only seen one boat. And this is into the fourth day, I guess. So uh, that's a good thing. One of the reasons that uh, I thought I'd try this lake is I thought maybe it would be a little less populated in the middle of the season. Uh, you, come, you come up to a lot of these beautiful lakes in the summer uh, peak season, and they're really crowded. I think of places like Rainy Lake or Cabotogama or Namakan. They're very crowded. I'm sure Tomogamy is very crowded in the summertime. Uh, people just flock to those places. Uh, they're easy to get to and uh, they tend to draw people. This lake, for, because there's no soundings, I think keeps people away. And that's one of the reasons it's, I chose to come here. See me, but also see the background. 
So the sun's coming through now a little bit. I saw the solar, uh, I think it was 96% the last I looked. You know, it's been mostly cloudy. So it's come up from, I think the low was maybe 73 and now we're up to uh, 96. So that's really good. Of course, this time of year, that's one of the benefits is that the sun is so high in the sky and intense that it's um, even cloud cover. It'll, the solar uh, works pretty well. To cross tomorrow, make the long crossing up to the islands. It'll be the second long crossing of the trip. I think I've got four total of nine to 10 miles and or more. You know, conditions look good to make the crossing, at least currently. So if, it, if that holds, then we will do that. The harbor here is pretty big. So if you had a lot of wind, it would still be rough in, there, in this lake. It's, it's too big for if you had really terrible conditions out on the big lake, this would be better than, than nothing. And conditions are right now pretty calm. Flip the camera back around. Hard to get me in here. And there we go. Just kind of off the corner here. I haven't seen much in the way of mosquitoes. I mean, I've uh, killed a few inside the cabin. Usually one or two try to get in in the evenings. Even flies haven't been a problem. I thought I had a big bee there yesterday, but it actually was a big, it was a hummingbird. It came around again this morning, it came over yesterday morning, and then it came this morning again, out, out looking for stuff and saw the bright colors, I guess, on the boat and decided to take a look. They make such a fluttering noise when he was really close to my ear, you know, he, it, I thought he was some kind of, you know, June bugs will make a, a noise like that, but not near as loud as that. So it was kind of interesting. I think that's enough for now. We'll talk to you maybe later in the evening. Good evening, folks. I'm just enjoying the beautiful evening here in this Anchorage, Charlie's Harbor. Been watching a bald eagle. In fact, I should look again to see if they're still up there. Yep, he's still there. I can see him above my eyeballs. He's been sitting there all afternoon. I first saw him around 1. And what time is it now? It's got to be getting close to 6. And he's still sitting there. Hasn't moved. Thunderstorm went through, didn't move. I haven't seen him fly. I haven't seen him go after anything. And he's big. He's a very big bird. Uh, you know, I can see him with my eyeball, and he's maybe not quite a quarter of a mile away, but close. I tried to take some pictures, but at a quarter mile, you're not going to get too much. And I've been uh, enjoying the afternoon. I did a lot of chores and uh, managed to... It did rain a little bit, so I had to be inside, which was not a problem. I just made pizza for dinner. So I had pizza, salad, and a cold beer for dinner. And then for dessert, I had ice cream with Bailey's on top, generous portion. And then, uh, then I just set up the shower and took a shower, a hot shower. So I feel really good this evening. First hot shower of the trip, I was overdue. It's always a little bit of a hassle to set up. It sure feels good. I got a good shot of a loon going by, he was cruising by, checking me out got close enough that I got a good shot. So I haven't seen any larger game. I'd like to see some uh, a moose or a bear maybe, but nothing so far. Sun's got another hour and a half, two hours before sunset here. Uh, so I've got plenty of light left. So I'm just going to set in the cockpit here and uh, I think I mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. I'm going through the uh, third volume of the three volume set that I have here. It says three complete and unabridged Canadian classics by Grey Owl, written by a, a guy that was uh, in this area of the world uh, for many years in the backwoods. He probably came up in this area at one time. Back in those days, uh, I can't remember, but I think it was primarily around the 30s. So he's uh, an interesting character. Makes some very interesting observations on beaver that you'll really wanna read about. I could turn the camera around, but I'm not sure it's, the lighting's not very good this time of the day. So you'll probably see better pictures behind me than you will on the other side. But I'll flip it around just so you can look and, and uh, see the surrounding cliffs over on that side. But the light, the, you know, the light's against that. It's away from that. So it's not the best. A little bit better over my shoulders. So I can put it up there, I guess, so you guys can see a little bit more of that background. There's a big uh, hill there, as you can see there in the background. And, you know, it's nice and quiet.
quiet. As you can see on my table here, I have my binoculars, my camera. I try to always be prepared to take pictures and to also scan for wildlife, especially this time of the day. That last hour before uh, sunset is a good hour to be out here looking around. But as I said, I feel refreshed with the shower tomorrow. You know, there's, I can see potential here to do some exploration, but I just don't have the time if I'm going to make uh, the passages that I plan to do. I need to really make some distance uh, and the winds are going to be favorable the next couple of days. So I probably better take advantage of that and move on tomorrow. I head out to the northwest on one of the longest uh, legs of this trip in open water. So I'm hoping that the weather holds. It's supposed to be good. I don't have too much more to add tonight. I'm just going to read my book and uh, sip on a little wine, see if I can get some pictures of wildlife. And we'll talk to you folks tomorrow. Mm -hmm.